Hey, what's up guys? Sean here. It is new gear day and I'm excited to show you my new hammock. Let's get it. So if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you'll know that this has been my go-to hammock setup for a long time. My Hanging High Hammocks REM hammock setup and my DD 3x3 tarp. And I have loved these and gotten great use out of them. The problem is this setup is bulky and heavy. Today, I'm gonna show you my new setup because I've got a backpacking trip coming up in the Smokies and I needed a lighter setup. So I'm gonna show you the new setup. I'm gonna pull it out, take a look at it, set it up for the first time, see how it does. So you guys know I'm budget-minded. I typically go for the lower price range gear. Not lower quality, but lower price range. The problem with that is with the lower price range, you typically get heavier gear. That's just a thing, it happens. But I was looking for something lighter. So this time I sprung for the Kamek Mantis setup. Now they actually have one that's a little bit lighter than this. Problem is, it's not in my weight range. Go figure, right? But this is an all-in-one system. This is the hammock, the bug net, the tarp, the suspension, and the structural ridge line, all in this one little packet. And it's about right at three pounds. The other system that I've been using is roughly five pounds and three ounces. So we sat down and weighed them up yesterday. And that system was roughly five pounds, three ounces, where this one is three pounds. So over two pounds shaved off of my weight, that's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing out, take a look at it, get it set up, and just see how easy it is to set up. And this thing, this Kamek Mantis has a 500 pound weight rating. I hope I will never test that, but I feel comfortable knowing that this thing's gonna hold my weight. So let's get over here and set this thing up. All right, so like I said, I have not even taken this thing out of the package yet. So quickly on the outside of this is the stakes and it has six of these stakes on it. I haven't, like I said, I haven't even pulled them out yet, so they're still in there good. But it has six of these really nice V-shaped aluminum stakes. They're really nice and they're good and light. So that'll be pretty good. It has the little stuff sack here. It's got a carabiner on the back of it there. And it is a roll top stuff sack. Now, I'll kind of put the information on the screen of what the materials are that it's made from and all that. You guys know that I don't really delve into that a lot um, because you can easily look it up yourself. But uh, we got some nice carabiners on this thing. Looks like it has the ridge line already attached to it. So we're gonna find the tree straps real quick. Now I didn't spring for the lighter tree straps because they came with that other system, but I already own those. So if I don't like these tree straps, I can swap them out and save a little weight on the other ones. So one of the first things I noticed with these tree straps are how wide they are. Um, and that's just part of it to go around the tree is a two inch uh, tree safety strap. And then it drops down to your regular standard size um, loop style uh, suspension system. But this is the Kamek Pythons. And it says max weight rating 500 pounds. So we're gonna go ahead. We're running for some, from some rain, so we've got some coming. So we'll go ahead and, and strap this thing up and hopefully we can get this thing done before it rains. Just like that. I do like that wide web on that strap. Um, that makes me feel a little more comfortable that I'm not going to stress the tree or hurt the tree in any way my other strap i really never felt like it hurt a tree at all 
but that wide web is nice. Now this hammock has a uh, special design. So it has wings on the head end of the hammock. I don't know which end that is yet. We'll figure that out. But the wings actually are supposed to be pulled out and that will give you more space to um, get a diagonal lay. So I'm excited about that and uh, I'm hoping it'll be a good comfortable sleep. I think I can grab it here on the uh, bag, but I don't know. It might pull it right out, so we'll see. Okay, so that does, that bag does hold on to there. And inside here, somehow, I feel it. Yep the rain cover. All right. Pull this thing over. May have to adjust it. Yeah, I will. All right, so that worked out pretty good. So the end that the bag is on is the head end of it so we'll keep that in mind it has wings on this end and you can see it has tie outs on it and uh these little tie outs have some shock cord on it so that'll help but we can pull these out and that will help get a more diagonal lay should be more comfortable the nice thing about this too it does have uh zip doors on either side and this bug neck can be taken completely off of there which is nice. If we don't need it in the winter time, we can pull this completely off of there and have open access to it. Or if it's just a nice night, we don't put the tarp up and have open access to the air. But uh, yeah, that bug net is really nice. I like the way that zips off of there. The bug net, so it has the double zipper. Let me bring you in and look at this. So it has the bug net that zips off there, but then it has the other side that zips up from there. So that's how you zip that thing back on, I guess, is you kind of add it at this point right here. And uh, so you can zip it back on. We'll have to see how hard that is to do. And I'm, now I'm looking at it, I don't know if it zips completely off or not. I might be wrong about that, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's got the double zips on it, which is nice. And uh, we better finish getting this thing set up before we get our butt rained on. Okay, so real quick, this does zip all the way off so it has these covers at the top here that have snaps on them and if you pull that snap back and you look you can unzip this all the way to right there and uh so we would add the zipper right here and right there and put it back on it has the same thing at the other end Yeah, man, this is nice. This is, Actually, it's really comfortable. So, I took a second to pull the wings out on either side. And uh, so that helps open the hammock up a little bit at the shoulders. And it gives you a little more room to get a diagonal lay, a good flat lay. And I'm really happy with this. So, I'm kind of trying to be careful and not put my shoes all the way in here. So that's making a little bit of difference. But you know, it's a really nice lay. It feels good. I feel good and flat. I don't feel scrunched up in the shoulders. That's a big one. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with it. So the bug net, 
that's one of the things that I always worry about it pulling really tight on the bug net and it's not super tight it does have some tension on it but it's not super tight the ridge line is doing a good job but uh yeah I'm really happy with the way this thing feels and uh, it's you know it's a hammock it wasn't super hard to to uh, set up so yeah I'm really digging this so let's get that rain fly set up all right like I said this is all still folded up so I still have this is the first time I'm setting this thing up so it has some tie outs and it has little pockets in the corners so when you safe it up when you're done you tuck them up into those pockets it's a nice and neat little setup so I like that and uh, that's kind of handy see if I can figure out how to set this thing up one thing I'll say this is definitely not as um, sturdy feeling as my DD tarp um, but it's lightweight so that's kind of a trade-off you make but this is the seam down the center of the tarp and it's taped really nice um, and I'm not trying to sell you this system okay I bought this with my own money I'm not trying to sell you this I'm just showing you that this is my new setup I just want to get that out of the way because I don't want people to think that oh this is an infomercial that I'm trying to sell you something I'm not I couldn't care less whether you buy this or not I bought this for me but this is a nice little tarp here I think I pretty much know how it sets up so it's got these sewn in tie outs on the ends so you could tie through that if you needed to but it also has these with the little line tensioners on it so we're gonna go ahead and get these put on the tree and uh, we'll get it staked out see how it looks so it has these cool little no tie hooks on it so looks like we're just gonna bring this around the tree and uh, pop it on the line and then we'll tension it up on the other end and it's got these line tensioners on it, which is really nice. So we'll go ahead and pull it up here on this end. It's got a bunch of little twists in it, so it's fighting me a little bit. Something like that. And then we'll pull it to the other end. Okay, so it appears that I have set this rain fly up backwards, so it's not perfect dimensions on both ends. I believe this is the head end of it because this tapers down. It's a little more tarp on this end of it, which I believe is for the head end of it in case of foul weather. Because the instructions say, in case of foul weather, to hook this end of it to the same spot that you have your wings hooked to and that will pull it down a little tighter to you give you a little more protection and uh, so I could have argued that this is another one of those systems that don't give you enough uh, stakes for the system itself because there literally is six tie out points on here as well as two tie out points actually 
there's four tie out points on the hammock itself um, so I could argue that point and I still don't understand why they do that I know for this it's probably a weight thing it's not a killer but still um, but because they tell you in inclement weather to hook those or to hook the um, head end of it to your wings stakes in the ground you could go ahead and hook the other two out so that would make it work somewhat but still well I guess on the hammock itself you could still hook that one to this end right here so I guess I'm nitpicking on that but that is something that's just always frustrated me but the uh like it is set up to where you could still tie it all out that way if you wanted to i have never really staked my tarps out to pull them out like that i may do that on this one because of the wings and uh just see because it did feel comfortable in there um but i really like this little setup it really is easy to adjust it's easy to set up. I like the little no tie clips around the trees and they give you a ton of extra cordage on that. So, give you a little information about the way I set things up. So when I'm looking for my trees to set up on, I want about five paces between the trees. So that's roughly 15 feet between the trees. So when I'm out setting up my system, I'm always looking for that distance between the trees. I try not to set up on trees that aren't that distance because I don't want to have to readjust my hang. And once you get it dialed in, if you're a hammock hanger, you know once you get it dialed in, it's perfect. And if you have the right trees, it's dead on. So that's why I always look for trees that are within that same distance. But um, I really like this little setup. Like I said, it's easy to adjust. It's easy to set up. It's a typical, a typical hammock. It's just lighter. And uh, that's why I wanted it because, like I said, we're doing that backpacking trip. And I'm trying to take things down to a lighter weight, which means I'm having to up the value of the things I'm buying. So this setup here, the hammock, bug net, uh, structural ridge line, the suspension system, and the rain fly I got from Kamek, and it was $269. And if you go to their website and sign up for the email, I think I got an extra 20% off of that. So that's a good discount on $269. So I would normally never in a million years spend that kind of money on this setup. Now, I know there are guys out there that are going to laugh at me and say, hey, I've got blah, 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 and all this other, and I've spent twice that much on a hammock. That's fine. That's great if that's something you do, but I don't typically do that. And I've had good luck so far not doing that. But I've got this setup now, and I'm really happy with it. I think it's going to work out really good for us. And uh, I'm looking forward to this trip coming up. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm having to push myself. And that's good too, so um, I'm really looking forward to this whole thing, and it's a new experience for me, so that's something else that I've been looking for. I've been looking for something new, and uh, so I'm looking forward to it. So this is the new setup, guys. This is my new ultralight hammock uh, tarp setup. So um, this is the Kamek Mantis. Now, they have the Kamek Mantis Ultralight, like I said, but it really didn't fit within my weight range, and you only lose, I can't remember what it was, six or seven ounces, maybe, with the Ultralight. So I figured I could probably handle that, and uh, that six or seven ounces, and be comfortable with the, within the weight rating. So, really happy with this system. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was short and sweet. If you enjoyed it, give it that big thumbs up for me. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down there. Ring that notification bell so you get notified next time we put out a video. You can follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next week.